No, I, I wouldn't say that's a, a mission of ours. I think the, the important mission for us is to play good cricket. The cricket that we know and the brand that we know we are capable of playing. And I think if we do that, particularly tomorrow and, and the game against Australia, we give ourselves the best chance of, of beating them. Um, you know, we've, we've played good cricket against Sri Lanka, in Sri Lanka in a few months ago and recently in South Africa. So we know we can beat them. We know we can uh, put in big performances but the important thing is to look introspectively and how we're going to do that. Um, we don't have a grudge against Sri Lanka to want to kick them out of the World Cup. It's not about that. I think the important thing for us is to make sure we put in a big performance. It's disappointing, yes. It's not the biggest disappointment. Um, if I had played three games and, and we had made a playoff or fought for the title, I think you know anyone, or particularly myself, would be in a, a lot happier position. I think the most disappointing part obviously has been our team performance and I think it will be remiss of me not to mention how disappointed we are, um, you know, particularly letting all our fans down back home, you know, it's, it's been pretty dismal from our part and we wish that we could point out one thing that, or the reason why we haven't performed, you know, I think we've put in a lot of effort in terms of our preparation, in terms of our strategy. Uh, going out there with a good mindset, a strong mindset, but unfortunately we haven't been able to produce and, and executed our plans. And that's been the most disappointing part for, for all of us, including myself. And uh, yeah, we, we obviously just want to apologize to, to the public and South African fans for letting them down. Um, you know, when you, when you represent your country, it's always a proud moment and you understand that you represent 50, 60 million people, that's a proud moment in itself. And when you put in performances like that, um, you know, you in a way almost feel ashamed of that. Uh, but, but we know that it's not all lost, um, even though yes, it is a World Cup, and I believe that this team will come back stronger. There'll be obviously some sort of introspection around where we've gone wrong. Um, and that's gonna be some conversations had post World Cup. And as I said, I believe that we will come back stronger. Yeah, the, the last thing I would have thought is uh, playing the first three games and being left out, particularly after a retirement call. Uh, but that's the nature of the beast, you know. You, you never guaranteed a selection. Nobody, um, everybody has an opportunity not to be selected if you're not putting in performances. It's a bittersweet moment for, for me. Um, you know, wanting to end off on a, on a real high in terms of international one day cricket. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. And I think the important thing for me is when you reflect post World Cup is to see where I could have done better, but also you, you kind of in a space of awe. Why I say that is because you sort of looking back, not only on a World Cup, you're looking back on a 15 year career. And that's something that I'm very proud of and, and very grateful, grateful for, to be able to, to date, play 197 games. It's not, it's not something that I've thought about or dreamt of being a young boy. So, you know, those are the sort of positives that you'll take away. Um, but yeah, it, it is a little bit different for guys that will carry on because they, as you said, have to pick up some of the pieces that, that have fallen in this World Cup. Uh, but I think that is what makes a strong South African team. We've always been resilient. We've always had opportunities to come back. And, and that's why I said there will be opportunities to come back. And I have no doubt that this team will come back stronger and be even more prepared and, and driven to uh, put in a really good performance in four years' time. I wish I could give you that answer. I, I'm not sure. Um, obviously, I heard reports that heads will roll. But, you know, if I, if I look at our management staff, and the amount of work they've put in over the last two years and uh, you know it's 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 always a difficult one when they bear the boat the most brunt of our performances you know the important thing for us is to take responsibility for that and and sort of stand up and be man enough to know that you know we've come up short they've given us the support they've given us all the backing that we need to go out there and, and put in big performances but unfortunately we were, we are the ones that have come up short. Uh, so in terms of the decisions that Cricket South Africa make, um, that's out of my hands that I wouldn't, I don't know what decisions will be made. Um, but going on the back of previous World Cups, uh, there'll probably be some shifting. And I think that's a reality that we all understand. 
uh, what shifting will take place you know that's out of my hands but um, it's important for us to be accountable for our actions I, I think there will be certain guys that will will take it personally but again like I mentioned earlier about the bubble uh, those kind of things stay outside of the bubble and we try and keep it out as much as possible but the the difficulty with that is certain guys will have relationships with past players and if a past player has a comment uh, whether it's a negative or positive whatever it may be it can possibly uh, affect certain players uh, the important thing for me is that we understand the context of where it comes from and why it's coming from there I think there's, there's a big part of it is that past players still feel a part of, of, of a team um, and they feel the sort of pain possibly of the of the poor performance and they want to see uh, guys putting in big performances but when you have agendas um, that's something that's out of our control and we have it's, it's difficult for us to have a say over that because we don't understand the agenda where it comes from um, what's the meaning behind it and that's why it's important for us to try and keep it outside of the bubble as best as possible uh, at the moment the most important thing is what's inside and that is this group of players and the management and we need to try and look after them as best as possible so whatever happens outside uh, that's their own prerogative and at the end of the day they know the real reason why they're saying what they're saying and that's out of our control to be honest i haven't looked that far um, obviously got a few t20 leagues lined up and uh, just taking it sort of series by series and, and seeing how things unfold you know with getting older the body takes uh, takes its toll um, so it's kind of just assessing that understanding where my family is young family growing up so you want to be at home and just kind of planning and, and thinking about what's next in terms of uh, post playing cricket i um, obviously had a, a few stints in the commentary box which i which i enjoyed uh, and hopefully I don't, you know, chirp the current players too much.